Welcome to this Balanced Body podcast. My name is Margo McKinnon. I'm studio director at Body Harmonics in Toronto, Canada. Today we're going to focus on building strong, lean, and functional buttock muscles. We're going to focus on a bridge series. And I wouldn't recommend doing all of these one after another, but as a series, you'll see how they build one from the next. So the key here is making sure that we move from the hips. So you gotta have real hawk eyes to make sure that people don't do a, a little tiny, uh, either posterior tilt or anterior tilt as they land back down on the surface they're lying on. So I have Larissa McCook with me today, who's going to be demonstrating these exercises. So you'll notice she's lying here with bent knees, a semi-supine position. Her pelvis is neutral with a little space under her low back. She presses her feet and lifts upward, right, to a nice zero degree extension in the hips. And it's like breaking at the hips to lower back down, straight back down. Good. Okay, let's do that again. She goes straight up. Yeah. And what you're watching for is the hips. Okay, we're gonna add on here. She goes up. I'm gonna ask her to hold there. We're gonna add a little bit of press through the back of the shoulders. So she gets what's often referred to as the posterior sling or chain, lat to glute connection. So she's really strong at the back of the body. Then I'm gonna ask her to place her hands at the sides of her hips and you're gonna watch she slides her pelvis side to side. What this does is bring in the hip adductor and abductor muscles going side to side. Okay, come back to center. She lowers straight back down through the hips. She presses her feet again to lift, presses back through the shoulders to get the lat connection, and here we do a little rotation of the pelvis. And I often ask people to press into the foot on the side where the buttock is lifting. So it gives a little more activation right up into the buttocks. Good, okay, come back to center and lower down. Okay, this next one, she's going to stretch out one leg. Okay, so this is like a unilateral bridge but it's with rotation. So I love, love, love this exercise because it gets all aspects of what the glute muscles are designed to do, all their actions. So she's gonna press her left foot into the ground and roll to the right to lift this buttock, okay? And you'll notice the whole side of her is lifted. She's basically square through the shoulders and then she rolls back down with control. So just do that one more time. She presses, she rolls to lift. Yeah, so the weight is on the right side of the body and then back down. So we're only gonna show one side. You make sure you do the other side. So now I'm gonna have Larissa come up to sit. We're gonna use this foam roller. I'm gonna place it under her upper back, okay? This is variable in terms of where you place it. She has her hands behind her head supporting her neck, but another way to do this is with arms forward so you really work the neck muscles. Okay, so she presses her feet again and she lifts straight up and here it's almost like a seesaw motion, okay? And then straight back down, breaking at the hips. Again, pressing and lifting. And you'll notice her head doesn't fall back. Right, let's just do one more here. She presses, she lifts, and it's like one long line, and then back down. We up the ante a little bit. She's gonna cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which. Okay, so now it's all gonna come through the right side, but she's gotta work really hard to keep her hips level as she lifts and lowers. Good, great. Okay, so do one more and really thinking seesaw here. So as hips go up, upper body tips back and then back down. Okay, so again, make sure you do this on the other side as well. So uncross your legs. I'm gonna take the roller. 
And now we come to two of the classical Pilates exercises. So she's got her knees bent, feet flat. I'm gonna ask her to press down through both feet, lift straight up through the hips, press down through the back of the shoulders again, that connection, back of the body. She's gonna press super hard through the left heel, so it connects to the left buttock and the right shoulder, so we get a diagonal support. And she's gonna fold at the hip, kind of like a march, and then back down. She presses with her right heel, left shoulder, folds at the left hip, again like a march, and back down, okay? And when she finishes, you notice it's one long diagonal, so zero degree extension at the hips. She breaks again at the hip crease to lower down. And the last one we, would do, we will do is the bridge with leg arc. Okay, so she presses her feet, she lifts. She's gonna press into her left foot, right shoulder. Okay, I'm gonna have her bring her right leg up into the air. So what's really important here, as she lowers her leg, she needs to stay focused on the left side because it's really all about the support here. Okay, I'm gonna hold you right there, Larissa. Lift a tiny bit through that right hip, good. And then one more time, up and down, up again, bend the knee, and lower. Good, and down she goes. Okay, so again, make sure you do the second side. So bridge series to really, really build support through the glutes. If people are feeling their hamstrings a lot, make sure you address that, make sure they are conditioned and really working well, so that when they come to do the bridge series, the focus can be up in the glutes. Okay, thank you for tuning in to this Balanced Body Podcast, and we'll see you again sometime.